Hey folks, so sometimes when you generate an image in AI uh, that you intend to turn into a vector, you come up with something like this that is not quite perfect because of position or just the way it is to, uh, to turn into a vector. So we're going to try to fix that. We're going to try to get a more frontal view and then we're going to try to turn it into a simplified outline and see if that gives us what we want. So you can see the prompt I used up top uh, to get this image out. And I probably could have refined that some more if I understood AI a little better and got exactly what I wanted the first time. But that don't always happen. So we're going to work with it and see what we can do to get us a good vector out of it. So on the bottom for a new prompt, I've asked it to rotate the image to provide a full front view of Santa's workshop. So I'm going to click to upload that and we'll see what we get. AI can be really useful with uh, your, your laser engraving endeavors. And uh, I've been working with it a little bit, not as much as I want, to try to figure out how it can be useful, and when I find something, uh, I like to share it. I did use it the other day, and I came up with a, a good simplified outline for what I was working on, and it was perfect. Uh, so we're going to see if we can do that today. If not, we may have to start over. So I have the pay version. Uh, I got Chat GPT Plus. But you can do this with the uh, free version. It just takes a little longer. And uh, this, this image should already be up, but who knows? It could be extra traffic I'm having on my internet or something. I don't know. But we'll see. It'll be up in a minute. Don't worry. All right, it's on the way. I know this is like watching paint dry, but it is what it is. Okay, we got a frontal view. Uh, it's, a, it's shifted a little bit from where it was, but, but that's okay. So we're going to ask it to do a simplified outline and see what we get. So create a simplified outline good for laser engraving. Let's see what happens. We got to wait again. That's just how it works. Maybe it'll be a little faster since it's just going to be a... It should be a black and white outline. Uh, sometimes they get the black and the white mixed up. They'll put black in the background and white on the foreground. And it's a little confusing, but... It still works, or if it bothers you too much, you can ask it to switch, rearrange the colors. All right, it appears to be doing what I ask. So you can see it is coming up with a, a simpler form of the image, which can be really helpful uh, when converting it to a, a vector. So now we have it. So if we wanted to trace this out in, uh, in Lightburn, we will compare the two traces. Okay, so we'll download this one. And then we will download this one. And then we'll pull them into Lightburn. So we will see what we get out of it. So the first one is the full image. We'll just right click 
do a trace and let me make this a little larger so you could work with it and uh, certainly you could get something out of it but you can see how much you would have to adjust to even get close and then we still we end up with we're here so let me just leave that there and we'll try to pull this other one in if it'll let me so that would be here that'd make a good coloring page so let's trace it click I've got delete image uh, after trace turned on down here we click that now we have this so you can see a definite difference so uh, I think that is very useful it may not work all the time but as long as you get your your photo in a good position let's see if we can go back to chat GPT if I didn't close it so you can slow things down take a look at this uh, this prompt you can get uh, you can improve on it and see if you can get it front facing in the beginning I just wanted to demonstrate that if it doesn't come out properly you can adjust it to get a good front view and square things up and then you can turn it in to this I hope that was helpful if it was please like and subscribe it does help the channel grow and it keeps me out in the shop where I like to be and I really appreciate your time and watching so please like subscribe share comment uh, if you have questions let me know I'm glad to answer them anytime so check back often for new videos. You folks take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.